You guys want a fishing report from yesterday? We uh, went out and fished the surf. Here's uh, here's what happened. Somebody hit it. Something small. Get out of I said somebody hit it. Something small. I was like, gah, 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 gah. Good, yeah. Huh? Oh. What did you just say? Just said I lost a really nice fish. It was taking drag. Oh. This is Cody Dunn. He woke me up this morning and promised me that we we're going to catch fish. And I've been out here for five minutes and haven't caught anything yet. Yeah. What's your you're What's your excuse? Lure. What's your excuse? You be throwing a mirror lure. I'm, the I'm spoon the, is like the worst thing you could ever throw. I'm throwing a spoon. That's what That's what all your videos say. I wouldn't, I wouldn't your video ever, says to throw a spoon. I never throw a spoon. Well, I hope that's, you. That's silly. Why would you do that? I hope you. I hope you're happy with yourself. They don't catch fish. You don't catch fish. I haven't seen you catch one either. Cody, Cody got me out of bed. Come over here. No fish. You got to hold your mouth right. You gotta sharpen your hooks. He's throwing top water. Cody always talking about the spoon and he's throwing top water. Look at him. Always talking about that spoon but throwing top water. Yeah, the water's been nice and green and and uh, this morning I come out and it's a little sandy, so that's uh, normally how it goes, right? Um, I think Cody caught, I don't know how many fish he said the last three days but uh went fish to weight fish a little bit yesterday and uh decided to come out and hit the rocks today so we'll see we'll see the sun's uh yeah i guess it's just about up you can't really see it because of the haze but a little windy a little windy in the mic so apologize but can't do nothing about mother nature a little choppy but we're gonna let's see what we can do today see if we can uh see if we can hook up gotta, gotta keep my eye on that guy Make sure uh, you don't start catching fish without me. Got to get the first fish today. Oh! Oh, it got off! Oh, no, he's still there. I think it's a skipjack. There's a ladyfish. No. It... Yeah. The little guy. Little ladyfish. Cody hollered at me. You have a trout? Cody says he has a trout. Let's come see. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Hey, that's a weird looking spoon, bro. <laughs> Where you get that spoon from? Oh, oh get him! Hey. That is a weird looking spoon. You got a little holding pond here? Yeah, I got a. Let me see what you're throwing. Let me well, see that spoon. It's a rare day today. <laughs> Can't beat them, join them. Well, you know, one of them days. One of them days. In the first gut. First gut, yep. They will be in the first gut early. That's for sure. Hey, there you go. Hold them up. Daylight now. Bitch! Look at this one. Yeah. Look at that one. Oh, I wonder if that's a good color. I don't know. Might be. Might work. Let me see that color. <laughs> <That went>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're throwing that, I'm switching back over. Well, when you catch one on that one, I'm going to switch back to back. 
yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, it was kind of a trying day. I sat there and cast and fish for probably like three and a half hours and uh only caught a couple little fish there wasn't nothing there wasn't much of a bite at all there was no bite uh i kept getting these little hit hits and and little nicks and i, I fished with like five different kind of lures and uh, i just couldn't couldn't get those guys to uh to bite i could see blow up on bait i could see stuff out there that was uh chasing bait but uh you know the water was sandy the wind kind of picked up uh the previous afternoon so we kind of ran into uh, ran into a little more dirty and more silty water. Probably only like eight inches of visibility. Uh, Cody did get that one fish early on. He was fishing in the first gut or probably the second gut because the tide was kind of going out. So he caught it. He caught it in that second gut right there. And another gentleman that was fishing several rocks down, he came down and he started fishing the same gut that Cody was fishing. And uh, he said that uh, right around sunrise, he, he ended up with like three or four uh, specks in that gut. And another friend of ours that was on another rock, uh, he caught one speckle trout, one slot speck that, that was in the same gut again. So sometimes early in the morning, the fish kind of come in and you could catch them in that first and second gut. And then they kind of push off a little bit chasing bait as the, as the morning kind of gets a little later. And, you know, this was probably like, uh, let me see, um, yesterday was, yesterday was Monday, so I think the bite actually started on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, that's six days of a very nice bite for those surf trout. And uh, let me tell you, when that water clears up and it gets kind of clean, um, that's when you really want to be able to, you really want to drop what you're doing and run out there and uh, and fish if you can. Unfortunately, I couldn't because I was dealing with contractors, roofers, you know, fencers. I was, I was, uh, my fence went down. I had issues with my roof from the hurricane. So I was dealing with, with all of that. So um, like many of you all you know, out of power and, and, and dealing with everything from the hurricane. So I wasn't able to go out there and fish, but I know that Captain Cody has been tearing him up. Uh, you know, the lure that has been working the most for him is that Castmaster Spoon. You know, that, that lure has, um, has really caught a lot of fish. Um, you know, this is a lure that he was throwing. Uh, I'm not even sure who makes it or, or who's made by, you can probably, you know, do a little search and, and figure that out for yourself. Um, yeah, but, you know, it, it's been fun. You know, it was a fun uh, day. Uh, I, I had a good time. Ran to Jose, hung out with Jose a little bit, hung out with Cody right before we went over to ICAST. He went to ICAST um, later on that evening, and he's over there in Orlando, Florida for ICAST uh, for the rest of the week. So uh, he'll be back uh, by the weekend. We have the Texas SummerSlam uh, going to go on with uh, Up Above Adventures. We're going to be uh, fishing, uh, taking a couple vets out or six vets out. Uh, on got her hooked and uh, we're gonna be out there and uh, hopefully place gets get some money for these guys and and have a good time um but yeah i i enjoyed the day um you know there's a i took the day before uh what's today so sunday i took my son out and uh, fished and invited a couple friends of mine uh patreon and a good friend of mine mario from max straps i invited him out and he came out with his son and another friend of mine tim uh, TTL service. He's a plumber in Fort Bend County. Uh, we all went out and my son Christopher and did a little bit of weight fishing. And uh, yeah, we got, we kind of got busted by the cops too. You know, we're not supposed to be on the beach in the vehicles uh, until they allow you to. So somebody moved the barricade. Um, not saying who, but somebody moved the barricade and uh, the cops came out and kind of ran us off. But that video uh, will be up just following this one. But uh, I did want to give you a fish report uh, real fast. I do have other, like some people always ask, you know, when's the water clean? When's, I, I did a fishing uh, a video, and I'll leave it in the link uh, in the description section. I did it a couple years ago, um, kind of showing you how I look and when I'm looking and planning out my week and when I'm trying to guess when the water is going to be flat and clean, uh, kind of how I, the the apps and the, the websites I use and kind of how I do it. Um, 
it's no easy way to do it there really isn't sometimes that water is supposed to come in sometimes it's supposed to be clean and it could just be out there like several hundred yards uh, just out of casting distance and, and it would never come in and it'll just stay out there and sometimes out of nowhere poof the the clean water comes in the water clarity gets awesome and uh and the fish you know you get really get on the fish so hopefully uh i'm not too sure what what it looks like today but hopefully it cleared up a little bit and uh and it's gonna clean up a little bit more uh, as the rest of the week goes on um but hey guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget, you haven't liked this video yet. Please go and do so. Share the video, leave a comment, subscribe. All of that stuff helps out tremendously. Also, go over to Up Above Adventures YouTube channel. Uh, also, I'm also a videographer for them, and I do the editing and all the posting of the videos too. So do me a big favor, run over there, subscribe to that channel, and watch those videos too. Thanks.